and yeah. some of them were interesting or more interesting than others. Yeah. Did you see that guy who infiltrated the TED Talk? <laughs> no, no. <gasps> what Did happened? you see it? That Ted's been trying to get it taken down. A comedian convinced Ted that he was some kind of something or another, and they let him give a fucking talk, and the whole thing was like a giant put on. And About he's, what? What was the subject? Can you look that up? Can we put that? Look, I'm going to. We just have to play this, man. Well, to expri- I, I saw, describe it so he can give, give so a, an accurate Google search. Basically, there's a comedian. I can't remember his name. He, uh, he somehow convinces Ted. That he's like, I don't know, uh, uh, some kind of entrepreneurial something. He, What's the name of it? What's the name of the talk? Um, Sam Hyde is his name. Yes. So he comes out wearing plastic, a plastic chest plate. It's like he's just scamming Ted and he starts doing this like regurgitated bullshit like you hear on the TED Talks. And he's really kind of like – he's really like – he's really roasting the crowd because he gets them all to like pat themselves on the back. <laughs> but no, man. Play it. Play it. Look at this. This sounds like the yes man. Oh, this, this is but the play, guy? play the intro because you know he wrote this intro. Discovery, Can you start at the beginning? It is featured on television. Oh, he's Indian too. That's not him. That's his that guy. His work spans every continent and has been featured on television and in print, Discovery, Nacho, Weiss, and others. He recently returned from Mogadishu, the most dangerous city on earth, where he shadowed the heroic El Mahmud women on their quest to clean up the streets and restore humanity to their war-torn country. I present to you Sam Hyde, 2070 Paradigm Shift. Sam. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Look at him. Can I have this water here? Is this anybody's? I'm claiming that right there. All right. <sighs> <sighs> he walks through the <sighs> stage. Here. It's great. You got to see what this guy looks, looks like, here. folks. We're oh, just getting the audio of this. Back. Oh, good. Okay. So keep that on me. I don't want to you guys can't hear me. That's right. A lot of people are only... Give me like 25 seconds here. ...getting the audio. He's sitting on the stairs. Dressed like a gladiator with a sock cap on. <laughs> it's a weird outfit. <clears throat> Give me like 10 more seconds. <laughs> he's just this doing is... performance art yeah. here. He's pretending that he's a, an awkward guy. Oh, man. This thing. Can we turn this up a little bit so I'm not... I don't have to like turn my head into it. Can you... Like... <laughs> How about now? Test, test. Hey, there you go. Yeah, I'll talk to you later. You're doing a good job. Oh, man, okay. Can we reset the clock so I have another minute extra, <laughs> please? Oh, this is great. <laughs> this is it. Thank you. There we go. Okay, hey, I wanted to start sitting down anyway. Um, guys, pat yourselves on the back right now, okay? Let's do it. Come on. Everybody, I'm not going to make you, I'm not going to let you stop until I see everybody doing it. Let's pat ourselves on the back. There we go. You two, you're patting each other. That's cheating. <laughs> Ah, uh, you, you couldn't keep your hands off her, could you? Yeah. Hey, I don't blame you. She is beauty. Hey, guys. That pat on the back right there is for saving the worlds. Okay, worlds. World. I'm looking at young minds right now. You guys are all intelligent. I know that you did good in school. I didn't do that. You especially. You're very smart. <clears throat> Look at us. We're the machine that keeps the world going. Okay? <laughs> I'd like to start this talk off with a parable, a story, if you will. I was at a college, a second tier, not an Ivy League school, a second choice school. And I was in a class, and there was a student in that class, okay? And this, the teacher, he was spouting some horrible nonsense about how it was something about how women's rights are not legitimate, something that everybody knew was false. But if anybody had spoken up, he would have taken extreme joy in failing them. Okay, nobody spoke up. One person raised his voice. One person started talking. The teacher couldn't believe it. The classroom couldn't believe it either. But in the end, he had logic on his side. And at the end of the day, he proved this point. That student was Albert Einstein. <laughs> <laughs> and that same sense of... Ch- <laughs> 
laughing. He could not laugh. He's, he laughing. <laughs> He's laughing at his own shit. He's hitting himself in the face in now. That same sense of childlike play. Well, this led is it's, it's pretty long. So uh, people, uh, what is his? What is the name of the? Of Sam the, Hyde. Sam Hyde. H y d e. H y d e. You know, my TED talk's going up uh, in a week. A week from today, Congrats. my TED talk's finally going up. What happened? Didn't a woman write a book called Sex at Dusk, like refuting what yeah. you say? I giving, got an email from her. Yeah, I know you sent me the what, email. What? 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 What was her argument? Uh, well, first of all, here's how that thing happened. Okay. 